Baptist Church. Am I right? Missionary Society. And every member is a missionary. Every one of us. So you know, the Apostle Paul tells us, all things are of God. Who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. The world is in trouble. The world is in need of Jesus. The world's need is not more money. It's not more education. It's not better governance. It's not to be able to travel here. And God has given God through Jesus has reconciled the world unto himself. Because the world had plunged this planet, the humanity, plunged into darkness. And God so loved the world. And he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And you know, Jesus Christ came and he has intercepted. See them going to give us. See them in the marketplaces. They do not know that they need Jesus. Many of them. So God has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. You know, the author of the book, the divine refiner, the divine imperatives, he said. To believe in God is to dedicate our lives to the cause of His kingdom. Did you hear that one? To believe in God is to dedicate our lives to the cause of His kingdom in this world. Amen. And if we observe the commandment, how it is written, the commandments are divided into two, four to God and the other six to So you know, my dear brothers and sisters, God has given us the work to do. Sister White tells us, God is the source of life and life and joy to the universe. Like rays of light from the sun, like streams of water. Are you there? And so you know, all good things come from God. 
and those of us who have come to know him as Lord and Savior, if we truly know him, his blessings will flow from us to others. You know, many times we tend to believe that if we are not great preachers, we are not preaching the gospel. But you know, someone says, I'd rather see a sermon. And to hear what it is, at the back of the eye, I pick up you go. I'm more willing, willing than the ear. Find tones this confusing, but example is always there for the best of all the preachers, all the men who live their creed to see good put in action. That's what everybody needs. And so, you know, I want to tell you something. When you and I are having a sweet relationship with Jesus Christ, He is using us without us even knowing. Am I right? I want to tell you, as you walk to church this morning, you are witnessing to others. As you share, uh, uh, you know, a uh, word of appreciation, as you say, So we should not feel that every one of us must be great preachers. All, right. All we need to do is to make sure by God's grace we are having a sweet and abiding and growing relationship with Jesus Christ and we will be surprised to know how he's using us. We are privileged to partake with, with, with God in evangelism. But Paul, he tells us in 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 9, for we are laborers together with God. What a privilege. We are laborers together with God. The Christian is not the agent, but the instrument. Are you So many of us, you know, when we present the word and when we sing a song, 